Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome to Football Manager 2020. This is episode number 13. I always love this point in the game. I don't know why. It's, it's completely irrelevant to anything whatsoever. I still enjoy it nonetheless. A game that replicates real life soccer, aka football, has an impact, especially when that first season uses real schedules. And speaking of, we're in the first season. And I, not you yet, happen to be on the actual date and almost roughly the time of where we're at. So for me, I'm recording this Friday and it's December 20th and it's 2019. Hooray! It's so exciting. Okay, well, now that that irrelevant little point is done, speaking of, this is a busy happy day uh, for me. I, for one thing, it's my sister's birthday today, so happy birthday, sis. And not that you're listening, because this is not your sport. Uh, she's seen a couple of my videos, but nothing more. Uh, her one and only game is WoW. And anyway... <clears throat> oh, Joy, Cameron Evans is hurt. Uh, out for a month and a half. That's awfully young to have a hernia. Uh, but okay then. Uh, today, busy day for me. It, yes, it's my sister's birthday, and then also for the daycare uh, that my wife and I run out of the first floor of our house, as I'm sure you have heard the kids and may hear them a little bit today. We have our Christmas program tonight. Whew, Bidwell, great job. Uh, passionate, and take a moment, and there you go. And yeah, nobody's done poorly this week. I like it. Everybody's in the uh, Christmas spirit, day. Eh? Uh, well, anyway, yeah, we have our uh, Mitchell placed on loan list twice in the last week. Yeah, you're letting me know. So here's the thing about uh, Dimitri Mich Mitchell. Great offensive player, great prospect in terms of pace, a lot of good things going on. Uh, and I'd love to put him in at the fullback position, at the wing back specifically. But he is awfully weak defensively. And we are very deep. Well, not very deep, though we are deep. We have a few players uh, to play there. But Bidwell has done such a fantastic job for us. And even though Bidwell is more defensive-minded than offensive-minded, Bidwell does have a good cross. And he finds enough space that he makes good crosses. And he's had quite a few assists, or at least created many, many chances this season. Alhamidi, player of the match, nice. Peterson capable, okay, and here we are. So we are on the road for this one, and uh, Luton Town not looking so good there. All the way down in 20th, 6, 6, and 10 with a minus 12 differential on the season. So they are struggling a bit of late, but I, I'm a little bit surprised by that as I thought they were more of a mid-table type team, but maybe I'm wrong. Love the relationship starting to to bud here at the front. And finally, these two playing well. It'd be nice to get something additional through here. And at least these relationships are finally. It's taken them a long time, a lot of matches together uh, to see things emerge. Uh, Bastion's level is going down. He is really struggling here to start the season. Surge on the bench. I might get him into the match. He has not played in a while. But we're back to a definite first 11 for this match. So we'll see what they could do in what could be a winnable road game. But we have not had the best of form on the road, period. I mean, regardless of who we play against. Morale is good, though. So let's keep the run going. 
And look at that, the entire defense is fired up. All but one midfielder fired up. Uh, can we at least hold them from scoring? Can we grab a goal? As none of the forwards are fired up for this one, unfortunately. And here we go. Early pressure. Not netting any results, but here we are just three minutes into the game. Grimes inside. We cut in and nearly get something there. That ball ricochets off. Kalulu keeps it in, but then it's put out for the corner. And we have the first corner of the game. Grimes is going to set up for it. That nearly makes contact. And then Rodon takes the partial clearance and heads it towards goal. He manages to get a decent amount of power on that, considering the ball was just floating out front. But a poor header there is going to create a chance the other way. Woodman to make a very nice save on that one so just inside the seventh minute and Wootentown nearly pulled the first goal of the game. Grimes is going to line up from a corner from the opposite side. This one doesn't even get past the first defender but after we recover the ball a nice cross there creates a chance, half chance anyway, on the far post. Pressure on the keeper. Oh why did you give up on that play? What the heck? Ugh. We had that ball, and then we gave up and let him go for it instead. Grimes, another corner. So we're putting a lot of pressure on. Again, can't beat the, the near post. Rodon, Grimes, Grimes with the cross. There's a chance. How did we miss that? That was deflected out. That's how. That was heading for the back of the net, but then it took a deflection. That was a sure goal. Uh, Rodon misses that chance. He does get the free header from close range, but can't get it on target. This time, Roberts gets to the ball. Plays it back to his keeper, Woodman. Nice ball up ahead to Byers. Byers over the top to Bidwell. Nice one. And there's a chance. Borja! Kalulu. That ball was heading out of bounds. Kalulu right at the line. Can't turn it back into goal. Hits the post and goes out of bounds. Wow, we have missed multiple, multiple chances. We should have a couple goals already in this game. And meanwhile, Luton Town finally fired up by their manager see if they can turn things around. We turn that one over, but Vanderhorn intercepts. Long ball over the top, Borja, with a chance. It's blocked, Kalulu. Through two defenders, three defenders, and he can't quite win it in the end. He beats two, but he can't beat all three. He nearly won that battle, and ooh, clear chance. I don't know why he didn't shoot there, but instead he crosses, and that one's head over, headed over and out of bounds. Both teams with a lot of chances early in this game, and it's amazing that it is still 0-0. Rodon and Grimes, Grimes, Byers. Now it's turned over, but recovered. Grimes out to Bidwell. Bidwell's going to keep it in and cross it. Kalulu. Ball was knocked away. I think he might have actually touched it, but I think the defender played that one well. Well played by Roberts to retreat and get the ball. Play it back to his keeper. Lundstrom over the top to Borja. Borja to Kalulu. No, he takes the shot. Well, he should have played that pass to Kalulu, who was deeper into the box and had some space. And Bastion makes a bad play. Something he's done a lot of. Really poor defense there as Eliasson allowed to come all the way from the edge of the box into the six-yard box, uncontested, and then manages to miss. Free kick. Ooh, dangerous one. Collins saved off the line by Woodman. That was so close to going in, but Woodman gets his left hand down just before the line and plays it away. Another nice stop there by Woodman. And while we've been all over them, they've been getting all sorts of free kicks in very dangerous positions in open play. They haven't created anything, just about anyway. Uh, but set pieces, Bastion misses another chance. He is awful in one-on-ones. Just horrendous. Lundstrom, long staff, halftime. Morale is down. Really? Why? Why is your morale down? It's 0 0. We're not doing badly. Everything can. More to come? Okay, that's working. It's hard to get people fired up in a 0 0 snooze fest, but it isn't a snooze fest. There's been a lot of chances. Kalulu. Good job to get to that ball. Grimes over the top to Bidwell, but it was heading out all the time, and Bidwell might have been offside anyway. Which could be why he didn't try to pursue that. Another good stop from Woodman. 
Somehow Luton Town over the top on that one. Cross in, Rodon clears out. Luton Town reset, Bidwell clears it away. Two defensive yellow cards for these guys. And oh, point blank range. Headed back across goal and set a near post. Near post was wide open. Keeper was right on the line in the middle. But we headed it towards far post, and the keeper was able to head that away. Kalulu under pressure. Difficult chance there. Uh, and he misses by some bit. Vanhoorn wrote on long ball ahead. Turned over. We recover. Again given away by Rodon. So he's given it away twice in 20 seconds. Van Horn, oof, where did that ball end up going? I never saw it. Did he sky it that far away from the goal? I saw the volley, but I never saw where the ball went. Uh, another turnover here, this time by Bidwell. And, oof, nice switch there. Rodon puts the pressure on, and we recover the ball. Again, Rodon gives it away, but Kalulu recovers. Grimes up ahead to Bidwell with the overlap, and Bidwell with the cross in. Ooh, that was so close to about an eight-yard chance. Dead center with the keeper locked in on the line. He would have had no chance to make the save unless it was directly at him, but nothing doing there. Their, their forward has a 5.9 rating. He has done nothing in this game. Uh, it is time to make some subs now. The main thing is that Bastion's been terrible, and his rating even confirms how bad he has been. So Surridge finally gets a chance on the bench, and so we're going to get him into the game. And then what to do after that? Well, Longstaff's doing poor. Byers has done poor. Uh, maybe we get McKay in there instead of Selena. Selena, of course, the better backup, but... Yes, let's, let's give McKay a chance here and we'll go for those two for now we'll save our third sub for later and let's uh, I want to demand more but I don't think that's going to do let's go with encourage oh oh there it is surge onto the pitch and scores immediately wow did you just, we'll have to watch that replay you might not have been watching but I, I kind of stopped what I was doing because I saw the chance created Bidwell Nice ball to Roberts, his teammate Roberts bangs it off the post. Kalulu comes in with a tap-in chance, and he slams it off the post, and Surge is there. Two counts on the rebound. And give us the one nothing lead. Uh, it is time to now go defensive for the final 10 minutes. And there's a one more, Kalulu! And that makes it two, yes! Okay, we are going to praise, and then we're going to change tactics. Let's pause for a moment while we set this up. Here's what I'm going to do. McKay just came on. Lundstrom's the one who's been struggling, right? Yeah, 76%. No, it is Longstaff today. Uh, but I kind of want some defensive help. Who's going to... Oh, it's Lundstrom. So we're going to move McKay. Back here, right? Longstaff, Longstaff. Ooh, wow, you are not very good at that position, are you? Uh, what can we do? But that is not a, uh, a good switch at all. Okay, we're not going to do that. Why don't we pull off then Kalulu? Yes, I like that idea. Okay, we'll pull off Kalulu instead. Now that we have the go-ahead, we'll just run with one forward. And we will bring on... Street as a fifth defender, or Carroll as a second defensive mid. Kind of like that idea. Uh, let, let's try that. We're up 2 nothing. I have not done this before. Something different. So we're going to add a second... Okay, we'll set you on a roll that you can do. Uh, oop, didn't mean to do that. Grimes, what about you? What can we do? Deep line playmaker with defend first. Okay, add surge all alone. And 
then we're going to go back on to pressing forward attack. Meanwhile, McKay. Yeah, that's good. All right. So 4-4-1-1, four, four, one, one, but with two defensive mids. Very crowded down the middle, but we keep our wing backs. The different formation, but it should help us see out the rest of the game. Oh, there's... Yeah, it's only about 10 minutes, so yeah, no, no problems. Players are calm now. Time's running out. Three to go, two to go, one to go. This could be the final play. And we recover ball here easily enough. Rodon, long ball ahead. That one doesn't find its target. Rodon missing the target all day long. But he's definitely winning headers. And there it is, full time. We grab all three points and get a 2-0 victory, which ends up being a pretty solid day. Look at that. Matt Grimes with a 9.0 rating, 8 key passes. It's an absolute stud today, but meanwhile, Borja Bastian, again, struggling. I think it is time that I have a conversation with him about his play. Definitely want to praise that one. That was fantastic. Now, yeah, meanwhile, let's let's have a conversation with Bastion. Let's. You can see he's losing quality. The one area he's improved is positioning, and that's actually what he started training just recently. That's something he really needed for the position. What he costs. And what his value is, I'm, I'm actually tempted to sell him here in January, as poor as he's been. I mean, he's only managed six goals. That is not a good return rate for a striker. And last season, for Elvis, he only had five goals. He only had two for Malaga the year before. So he's not exactly been putting the ball in the back of the net terribly well. He's only on a one-year contract anyway that's expiring. Uh, we're going to have a conversation. What's what's your form been? So he's best as a poacher, and that doesn't help. Poacher is not a good tactic for this squad, but he's decent as a pressing forward. Apparently the positioning doesn't even matter for this one. A little surprising. We'll have to move him off of that. Uh, but... No, I want to talk to you, not... Na -na 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 -na. Criticize recent form. There it is. That's what I wanted. Uh, or do we want just last game? Last game was really bad, but what about his form recently? Oh, he did get a goal in the last game. But it still only managed a 7.1 rating, even after scoring. He did have an assist few games ago so maybe just last game because he's been a little bit better recently maybe we won't criticize him we'll let him go for now he has been a little bit better
All right, so we're moving into real time for the posting date now. Also, I've moved up to a B, according to the team's analysis. Uh, concern about George Byers' recent performances. Really? What's been wrong with his performance lately? Ugh. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Okay, he has been poor. Uh, let's have a conversation. He's getting worse. Not good, not good. Uh, let's let's talk. Warren Player. Uh, criticize a recent forum. I've been declining. Try to pick yourself up in the next few matches. I agree. There you go. All right. Let's see here. Sixth place, 40 points now. 40 points and just 10 out of the lead of Middlesbrough, who we just played and drew with. 123s. Uh, this is not the time to really make players available. And as it is the busy, busy holiday season. Oof. Uni uh, United losing 3 nothing to City. Kind of happy City has struggled. Uh, they want to extend Tom Price loan. Let's see. They are paying 80% of his salary as a star player. He is improving. 20-year-old, 20, 20 he's only a one star, so... Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, how about this one? Oliver Cooper... 20, 20 year old is listed for loan 100% this is he's happy where he's at yeah okay uh, let's see Jones Thomas I'm not interested in speaking to Mackles field not improving much I do like the fact that they want to pay but he's French player there And they have below average training facilities. Though I certainly like that they would pay for it, but we're going to reject. Help keep him happy. Hopefully he'll come back and develop. But it does seem to be that time to think about contracts for next year. <laughs> Got a lot of season left to play, of course, but that's how things go sometimes. We got two Manchester squads at the top of the Premier League table at the point at this point in time. And there was no sign of Liverpool. Wow, all the way down in eighth place. Very different from real life. <laughs> Bidwell making positive development. That's good. He's played so well. Next up, tough game. Brentford on the road, fourth place. We've got Bardsley at home after that, 19th. Next one is Boxing Day. And then another game just a few days later. And then another game a few days later. Uh, superb dressing room atmosphere. Nice. We got an achievement. 
people are happy, happy, happy. Good time to be happy as it is Christmas Eve. Uh, injury risk is definitely up there for a few of the players. And being the busy season, I would imagine we will come away with a player or two that, and there's Bastion still. I do want to change this now from defensive positioning. Even though it's working and he's improving, apparently it's not a big deal for a pressing forward. So let's see what could he use some work on or do we want to take it out and give him no work for a little while to see if he can focus and recover. Okay, Lundstrom, his form has been good. So let's go ahead and passionately say the form's been good. Huh, yeah, no, no new contract on the horizon. Definitely not at this point. Uh, Bartlett. If the valuation is 20, they're offering 30. Okay. Oh, hello, Bastion. Uh, three bids have been made, and there is some money involved, and I'm actually happy to accept. Uh, looks like Schalke is the best one available. Oh no, I don't want a contribution IX. No. Uh, except. Uh, we're going to just straight up decline that one. And what about these guys? They are. Offering a, a bit less. Uh, he might be come unsettled if he's not allowed to speak to them. So I suppose we'll include that one, even though it's mm, sounds like that's where he wants to go. But I do certainly like the Schalke uh, offer. Declan John injured just a week, but it's kind of a bad time uh, there you go three stars interested would he would come to play for us but inconsistent poor heading I'm surprised that he is not that good as that's a name I've th seen thrown around a lot the last few years from the Manchester United U23s Though I've seen quite a few players kind of overtake him on the uh, depth chart of the youth coming up. Of course, Williams is starting to get some first team appearances. I like this. I'm actually getting a nice, good finisher. Let's, uh, let's start scouting this guy, huh? Now this one has positives. And we're going to have a big signing period coming up here real soon, so I uh, don't think we want to go into scouting this guy just because he's playing in the US and that's going to cost us extra. One of the best U18s. Sure, let's check him out. Oh, 
Okay, powerful center back. He's already on loan, though. Wouldn't cost that much, though. Apparently, though, he's only at League One level. Excuse me. Okay, uh, it does appear that I'm going to need another striker, so. Mm hmm. Scout. Scout, scout, scout. Uh, very slow and not looking that great already, so I'll just acknowledge. Scout. Really high potential. Potential for Premier League. They don't want to sell him even though he's not guys aren't good enough. So these are all new loan list players all of a sudden here. Oliver Skip. Defensive midfielder. That could push uh, Grimes up into the center mid where he is equally good and if we had a good defensive mid that could strengthen. Yeah. Alright, so most of them we're taking a look at. And that'll get us started for the January transfer window. Just about ready for the Brentford game. It is Christmas. Selena back in. To the press conference last time out, you guys played very well. Gives us confidence. Uh, strong enough to understand. Most proficient tackling outfits in the league. We're winning the ball back, yep. Yeah. Quite a run at home. Sure, we're ready to spoil everyone's day. Isn't defined by a single result. There you go. Cooper, loan extension to be confirmed. Yes. Price, yes, okay. We have to make our way quickly through this game, but we have more transfer stuff coming in. Oh, Norfelt. Okay, I'm actually happy with this one because he is way down the death chart. Uh, at already 30, so I could, I could have a U18 backup who's going to, you know, benefit and develop. And I suppose I might as well accept all three of these. Uh, here we go, and hand that over, here we go, here we go, come on, come on. Don't offer new contracts, uh, we have good youth facilities, and 
let's see here. Do 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 do. Nora felt on the bench, but not worried about it. Keep our run going. And we're already good on the forwards. So we'll kick off. And here we go. Gonna try to play quickly through this rain filled Boxing Day match here. We are in our yellows for this one. This is a home match, isn't it? Against top place Brentford. Big empty section there. Free kick. Grimes into the wall. Recovers it. Beats his man. But his cross is blocked. But we pick it up and that is so close. I'm not even sure how that one missed. As it was behind the goal pretty much directly. So I'm not sure how we missed that and it ended up behind the goal of the way it did when it didn't appear to have any bend on it. Selena, long ball over the top to Kalulu. Great sliding tackle there, but Kalulu's going to recover it. He's got the cross, Borja. Can't get the header to it as Rhea picks it out of the air, just beating him. Bidwell, nice take, but then that quick counter doesn't work out. Selena fires that one into the into the defender, even though he had a two-on-one at close range. Longstaff with the ball now. Borja recovers, and we're going to send that over the top. Roberts. Roberts with the cross in. Bidwell does get there first, but he definitely does not get lined up well for that one and ends up just skying the ball with the head. That line drive goes into the defender, and we defend that one well, but only right into the path of the attacking Brentford player, who then... Forces a really good save out of Woodman. And now they reset. They play all the way back to the keeper. Vanderhorn with a yellow. And oof, and then he heads that one away. Nice header there. That was a dangerous ball. Over the top. Roberts off to the races. Inside to Longstaff. That was a really nice pass. And Longstaff might have wanted him to do a little bit better on that one. Though it was certainly not the easiest coming through traffic like that to... Try to slam that one home. Here's Borja with another chance. And a little mister, I can't do a one-on-one -on -one for the life of me. And that's where 99% of his chances are. And so he never scores because he can't convert in a one-on-one. -on -one. I've heard that there was a bug related to one-on-ones this year. That's making them damn near impossible. So it doesn't seem to be just him. But because that's always his chance... That's why he never scores, and Kalulu takes a difficult volley and slams it into the back of the net, while Bastion takes an easy one-on-one -on -one chance and fires every single one of them straight at the keeper. That was a really, really nice pass from Roberts, and a great finish from Kalulu. That is not an easy finish at all. It's very difficult to master. Yeah, he's definitely on side here. We lead 1-0. Looks like we had an offside or a penalty just inside the box there just after we restarted play. And Brentford looking to find a little space. They're into the box. They're going to send it across the face of goal. I do not think he was trying to shoot there. I do think that was an attempted cross. But instead of flashing it across to a teammate, nobody attacked the six-yard box. And so no goal. Watkins just about keeps that in, but not quite. And over the top to Kalulu, what a great first touch. And that ball nearly went in, but the keeper makes a pretty solid save there. Kalulu can play one-on-ones a little bit. Longstaff, Lundstrom, oh, Lundstrom coughs that one up, and it's going to allow Brentford to go off to the races. We were covering the pass, but not the man on the ball, and he just kept going and going coast to coast. And this guy's his shot. Three, four yellow cards in a matter of seconds for us. Okay, well, two in a matter of seconds to go with the two that we had before the goal, but still pretty much four of our five defensive players, so not pretty much, almost all of our defense has picked up a yellow card. Nice takeaway there. Grimes picks it up. 
Good play out of the defense. Selena over the top to Borja. Borja again. One on one. Slams it straight into the keeper's chest. Every time. Every time he does that. Grimes. Selena. Curls wide. Caught a little outside of the boot there. Just wide on the laces. Bidwell, nice takeaway there. Long staff resets to Grimes. Grimes over the top to Bidwell, who after... Oh, wow, he almost got the uh, the rebound after the keeper saved that one and would have slammed it home, and that one's headed way high. And it's halftime. We lead 1-0 against the fourth-place Brentford team, and we are really, really looking good right now. Uh, you played well, but there's still room for improvement. There is a lot more to come from you guys, yes. That's my go-to, and it does work for the most part. Not everybody's fired up, but when you leave one nil, sometimes complacency is going to be a thing. So let's hope that we continue to play well. Four yellow cards in the defense is a real concern, and I might need to use my subs on that. Selena, good take there, and he's off to the races. He's, get, he's got it through to Kalulu. Gets the rebound, gets the goal. 2-0. He did exactly what... We do on every one-on-one. -on -one. He fired it straight into the keeper's chest. Not offside. The fullback on the left side. Ooh, not straight into the chest. That was actually a really good save from Rhea. Rhea took the angle away. Made things very tight. Reacted very well. That is just onside. There it is. It's the fullback on the edge of the screen. So that was the left back who put us onside. Both center backs... He was behind them, but it was the left back who was playing us on. Selena over the top to Roberts. Roberts is going to reset to Selena. Longstaff. Bidwell. Bidwell with the ball in. Kalulu looking for his third. Can't get it, but we've got a corner. Grimes. Borja heads it straight to the keeper. That's what he does best. I can't wait to sell him. I'd like to have that cash available to sign somebody else. I thought that was a really good save from Woodman, but it was a goal kick, so apparently it was crossbar, but then just kind of popped up and rolled back with the uh, English. Here's Kalulu, another one-on-one. -on -one. Not straight at the keeper, but again, way too close to him. Curl it around him from there, and if you can curl it, that's an easy score. We lead 2-0. If we went down to 10 men right now, that would be really dangerous. So, Hoban, let's get you out there. Uh... It's going to be for Vanderhorn. I don't want to risk getting that other, getting a second yellow. Of course, there's still three guys around you, but at least we just cut the risk down by about 25%. Good chance there, but we really struggled to get that ball out on that corner. Hoban gets to that one first, and Grimes, great chase to get there. Of course, that's always felt like a bug to me when players outrace you to things like that. It does happen in real life, though. Just not much. Not something you see at uh, championship and above level. You see it in lower levels. You see it at my level. Sunday League indoor stuff, you know? I out-hustle the people, out -hustle people to balls all the time. Kalulu was offside. Doesn't get called, though. Rodon. Long ball ahead. Nice one. Borja. Oh, he should have done better. His volley there, ball had just bounced. Difficult one to make, so I suppose it's okay. We got it on target. Bidwell, nice turnover force there. And Clue off to the races. He's got his hat trick. What the heck? What a goal that was. I thought for sure he was about to pass to Bastion, and instead he keeps it and just slots it in inside the, the far post. I mean, after he makes the cut back here, I, I did not think he was about to shoot. That actually, that was that was more on the keeper than it was Kalulu. Keeper, really slow reaction that time. But that is three goals for Kalulu. And I'm happy to keep him in the light up and bring in maybe Surridge. But I don't think we have enough uh, space for... Oh, there's a consolation goal. Or is it? There's still over 20 minutes to play. Uh, we're going to start going a little bit cautious, and 
Wow, now Rodon picks up a yellow. We're right back to four defenders. Uh, Street. Well, who's a little bit tired? Roberts. Roberts. I don't have any fullbacks in the lineup today. Really? Okay, well, in that case, we're going to go like this. Street. Push out Hoban. And um, there you go. Back down to 40% of the players in the defensive five, counting our counting Grimes, have been subbed out and no longer at risk. But all five that started the game have a yellow. Cross set to the top. Wow, really good shot. Woodman pushes that off the crossbar. Borja changes pace, tries to beat his man. Grimes nearly puts that one in the back of the net. He beats the wall, but out curls himself and pulls it wide. Okay, now we can go defensive. Longstaff off to the races. You got Kalulu ahead, looking for four. Can't quite get there. Raya, good save. Not great save, but good save. Kalulu is going to keep this in. Oh, a nice recovery to get that ball. Uses essentially a slide tackle in possession. Remy Street picks up the yellow, so there it is. That would have been Vanderhorn, theoretically, on the yellow, and he would have had a second of the game. So he ended up with six yellow cards on the defensive front, but luckily nobody red carded out of that game. That was a little crazy though. All of those yellow cards that we picked up in that game. We do come away with the win. 3-1 to one against a really good side. That was that was that was really nice. That was really nice. Uh, that was a pretty outstanding performance on the road at the 4th place team. So let's attend this press conference and we're going to be pretty passionate today. Uh, we were excellent. So I picked up several cards. Uh, we're going to go calm. And we're giving all they could, which is fine by me. Uh, passionate. Yes, the hat trick was tremendous. Uh, outstanding player, privilege to work with. Uh, no. I remain confident keeping him at the club. Um, uh, there you go. Any club would want him. League leaders, average minutes per goal. Okay, there you go. That's going to do it for this episode. That was fantastic. Uh, his morale's already perfect, but still, he needed that praise. So, back-to-back -back wins in this episode, and we come out of Boxing Day with all three points. We still have a very busy week ahead of us with three more matches all at home. Barnsley, Charlton, Rochdale. That's winnable because they're at home. And we came away with two road victories after only having, what, one all season? <laughs> team's definitely finding some form and now with 43 points are level with Brentford who we just beat who dropped to 5th Wigan move up to 4th Leeds 3rd West Brom 2nd Millsborough stay on 50 points so now we're just 7 points off the lead Fulham the only other one who's really close right now for the playoff promotions uh, 41 points but then you drop to 37 from there and even then, after those four teams that are within a point, it quickly drops to 31. And we're definitely extending ourselves away from those guys. And that's 12 points clear. So things have really gone well lately. Let's see if we can keep the, the strong form up. And also if we can uh, handle a match with Rochdale to start the FA Cup here in a little bit. I'll try to do those next two off camera before we then play at home just after the beginning of the transfer window. Maybe we'll pick things up on the beginning of the transfer window unless something happens before that Shelton game. 
Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Happy holidays. Bye for now.